hello beetle people and everyone that eventually um, finds this video online because I'm not talking about it with anyone actually um, this is my first video on the channel another Beatles fan and I hope the audio quality isn't too bad now because I recorded this video um, I've already recorded it but my fan was on and the audio quality just sucked and you know I want to do something kind of good you know, not great but something watchable and you know th that wasn't really watchable I don't expect anyone to watch this video um, but if you do I'm glad you're here and please let me know in the comments what you thought and if you want to see more stuff about the Beatles um, today I'm gonna review I Me Mine by George Harrison pretty sure you guys already know that considering that it's you know on the title <laughs> and before I do that actually I'm just gonna say that I brought Paul McCartney the lyrics as a birthday present for my friends which was a great gift you know I love them for for that and the review is coming soon too so please look forward to it if you if you if you're watching this again I'm sorry about the audio quality you're gonna hear motorcycles but my my street down here just is not quiet it, it isn't at all it's too loud and I can't do anything about it actually so bear with me please um anyway let's start talking about I need mine I want this review to be quick and because you know I'm just a 19 year old boy who doesn't know a lot about books um, so Let's talk about the book first. The book itself, not the actual content, but the presentation. I love it. I think it's really premium feeling, especially the paper. The paper has a, a quality to it that I really enjoy. Um, it's filled with amazing drawings. The first part is filled with amazing drawings, like Shrine Park here. It looks great. and. You know, it's a premium package. It uh, even comes with this Traveling Wilburys um, bookmark, which is fun. Pretty fun. Um, it smells good too. I love book smells, and this one smells great. Um, the photographs and everything that is actually a, an image, because there are lots of images in, on this book it's greatly printed you know which means that you're gonna actually notice the the quality of printing and the quality of the paper itself it looks great and it feels great too to read um the cover is you know beautiful i love this drawing by of george you know um anyway this is the closest we are gonna get a, of a, an autobiography by George, which I think th this book is sold as that, which I don't think is the best description, actually. The book is divided in three main parts, actually two. Um, the first part is an interview that I forgot who, Derek Taylor, yeah, Derek Taylor um, did an interview with him and it's not in an interview form, um, like it's not answers and questions, uh, but it's more like if George was telling a story to you, you know? And what I found is that it's not, you know, I'm sorry about that. I thought my brother was gonna come in. Anyway, um, it's. I thought it would be more like an autobiography, so George talking about, you know, his childhood, then his time with the Beatles, and then his solo times. He does that, but it's. Um, I felt it was really, um, like he was talking to a, a close friend, 
um, so he doesn't worry too much about facts and about you know telling a story he tells a lot of personal things and you know what he feels things were at the time it's kind of weird explaining like that but I think you got the point um, don't come in this book expecting a biography that's the main point we also have some photographs here which looks amazing actually they look great um, I love this one just him dancing with an old lady which I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's his aunt in this one he's restringing the guitars um, you know lots of great picks like those two and I think it's a uh, an integral part of this book because it just um, it, it, it makes the package more appealing to me I think um, and also we have the main part of the book part two is the main part which is every single lyric has the manuscript and a little comment by George this is incredible, you know, I love this detail because um, I love the manuscripts. I think they're extremely interesting and to look at, you know, because sometimes even um, the lyrics don't match the, the final product. And there's actually the final lyrics, they're actually written here too, you know, they're typed in so you can maybe compare them and you know, it's a fan thing. If you're a fan, if you're a Beatles and a George Harrison fan, you're gonna love this. His comments on songs are mostly punctual. He doesn't go along, you know, um, and and he doesn't talk about every little thing on the song. Uh, some songs he does talk a little bit, you know, in more detail, like I'd Have You Anytime. It's one full page. However, For You Blue, is three lines which is for your blue is a simple 12 bar song following all the normal 12 bar principles except it's happy go lucky so and which i think is a great description of the song actually so if you're a george fan i think you're gonna love this part um and it's i feel like it's less of a you know um real autobiography and more of a collector's thing that you're gonna sometimes you're gonna listen to a song by george and you're gonna say oh i wonder what he thought about that you know um so yeah you can come here and and see what he said you know which is you know it's just an incredible package i think and I know that I'm just, right now I'm just babbling. I'm not saying really um, something that makes sense because I don't have any type of script. But you know, that that's it. I hope this video wasn't too bad. And I hope if you were, you know, questioning yourself about buying it or not, maybe um, this made it easier to understand what the actual book is about. Um, I think if I had a, you know, in one phrase, in one sentence, describe the book, I think the book is best described as um, a compilation of George's work in manuscripts, a small interview with him where he talks about a lot of his personal things, which to me is even more interesting than, you know, if it was... Um, a, a, only a book talking about what he did and stuff like that and it's for Beatles fans who don't mind spending a little bit more to have that premium value you know so yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed it um, see you later goodbye